Hello YouTube, this is Dragonheart and welcome to part 2 of the Macadon campaign. In the previous episode we took Anthea from Tylus and this is what is remaining of the Tylus force right here. The Wandering Warriors, they have three units which are all depleted so they'll be gone next turn and they'll be gone from the game. So we have Pela, Pulpadeva and Anthea. I'm thinking now perhaps we go for Odesos. If we have a quick look at the diplomacy, Tylus is there. Egypt don't like us, don't need to worry about them for now. Epirus is a nice tasty target we could go for, I think. Gets our get, get another province in Macedonia anyway with them. The Odrysians would be a, nat a good natural choice up north. Try and take all of Thrace. So Thrace and Macedonia are the two targets, two full provinces we want. The question is do I go for Epirus, which would make sense from a political standpoint because they are at war with Athens and Sparta already. I might be able to get on their good side. Be welcome. If I trade if I low, but I could join war be. against Epirus. I rejected there, and the same so with Sparta, I think. Where are they gone? Sparta. Oh, we can't do anything with Sparta. We can't trade, of course, because they, they're landlocked. Um, yeah. Odrysians or Epirus. What we will do, I will be using my spy to scout, I think. Go back towards Apollonia. It will take a couple of turns. Hopefully, Epirus will still be in the game by that point. See, Odesos is a nice, tasty target right there, and we've got most of our army, sure. It actually makes more sense to get this now. If it if it does turn out later in the campaign, Athens takes us on. We've still got a nice province, sure, Pela, which has a strong force there. A strong garrison, anyway, and it's got walls. And I can easily pull armies back to defend it. Yeah, let's go for... I think we'll go for Odesos. Just check our faction overview. Can I have two more armies? Can I have another fleet as well? I can actually have an edict, I think. No, I can't. I need Navisos and Odesos for that. Yeah, can't do an edict yet. Which is weird because it says zero of one. That's actually saying I got an edict, isn't it? Or was it saying that I can only do one at this stage of the game? I don't know. A lot's changed with this. I'm still trying to get to grips with it, so... It's a work in progress at the moment. But anyway, we will end the turn. And yeah, I think we'll deal with that Tylus force there. They'll probably attack me and hire a bunch of mercenaries. That's what they tend to do. At least they used to in previous patches. I don't know what it's like now. Um, yeah, here we go. As expected, they have some mercenaries, they've recruited two mercenary Thracian warriors. This is going to be an easy battle. I'm going to actually auto-resolve this battle because there's no point in fighting it, guys. Uh, all of them 95%, so we've won this one. Tylus are gone from the game. They've been eliminated now. Episode 2. Nice and quickly dealt with. Um, oh, did I lose a general? I lost my fleet! Oh, God alive! It's flaming auto-resolve. What the hell? There's five units we lost our fleet. This is why I like to fight my own battles, because that's just pathetic. I've lost a whole... Ah, oh, it's a garrison, that's okay. Yeah, my actual fleet's here. That's good. I got worried, worried then, because I thought I actually lost my proper fleet to my general with that fleet, but it, as it turns out, that was the garrison. Oh, that frightened me. I was going to say, five units with three of them more, more or less dead anyway. We're taking the piss. But anyway, faction destroyed, Tylus. Research, tactical drills, increase. Rebellion imminent in Thracia, oh god. Thracia, we're in Thracia now. Oh god, it's bad. Bad here. We can deal with the rebellion easily. Um, how do we deal with this rebellion? We can move. Well, we're going to be moving this army back anyway, so let's put him into a force march back to Pulpadeva. That will help the uh, public order. What should do? Minus three. There we go. It's bought us a couple of turns, and he's actually leveled up, so we can actually. Let's see. Strategist gives me cunning and gravitas, authority. I just gotta go with zeal. Zeal tends to be the best one for your, your kind of battlefield commanders, so it makes sense. And then now this spy, I'm actually going to use on a Desos because if let's see, Russian kingdom. 
They're at war with Trabali anyway. I could actually strengthen my alliance with Trabali by offering to go to war with them. That's a good strategy, I think. What we have. Got to level up this army, the Gods of War. I'm going to go with Warrior again. I'm going to do my technology. So we've got logistics. And I now have tactical drills, which is vital at this stage. It's vital because plus two melee attack, plus two melee defense. When you fight in these kind of factions, or Odrissians, that's what you want early on. Get that straight away. We can charge at them as well. We get a bonus of charges. It all adds up in the end. So next, do we go for Gymnasia? Battle run speed will go up with that. Battle or ship. I don't really care about ships right now. Siege, we could get that. It gives me a workshop, which would be handy. Three turns, it would be handy because that leads towards the Ballistas. Which we can just wreck havoc on most of these factions when we've got a Ballista. Literally pick the map off one by one. If we have a look at it now. Give ourselves a little overview of what's going on. Yeah, I'm quite happy with my empire so far. Three faction, three provinces. Epirus was... See, this is the thing. Epirus won't last long. They have a resource there as well. Odessos, from what I can see, doesn't have a resource. But I want to strengthen my myself anyway. Give myself a nice little border at the north. I can then take on Tribali and perhaps take up the whole province of Thracia before I come back down to Greece. But this is where i got to make a good decision now. Let's move my spy. Let's use my spy. Let's trespass. Fuck it. They seem weak. Oh god, three and four. Oh, we can take these out. Holy, can I get there this turn? <gasps> oh, I can get there. Right, we're going to have a second battle, guys. Right, this, 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 this. Oh god. Rub my hands. <laughs> Let's get this going. So, uh, Tribali, we're already trading, we're already good friends, we're going to be even better friends after this. I want you to... I'm going to join my your war, which is moderate. If you give me some trinkets of 500, it's moderate, it's a chance. They want access for access. It's a fair offer. But, how about I join your war and you give me a little bit of cash. That's even fairer. Oh, you utter pricks. Oh my god. Right, let's just go to war with these first. Makes sense. Uh, we got the cable. Right. Spy time. Weaken. Oh, they got two characters. Three, three, four. Oh, he's even better general. Right, so. 60% on him for his army, 60% for you. Oh, wait, that's the character. What the hell? Sabotage, assassination, assassination, manipulation. Do they have a s oh, they have a spy. That's the spy they have there. Oh, okay, I see. No, I wanted to do a military sabotage. 60% chance. Do some minor damage to all the units or some of the units there. Fingers crossed. Please work. Ah, oh, bugger, bugger, bugger. I need to be exposed. He's increasing rank. I, oh, that's, that's a stupid feature. Huh? Um, he failed and he's gone up a level. Authority, insight rest. Let's see, what do we want to give you? Cunning, evading enemy agents could be good. Camping map movement is okay, but I don't really, I don't really put my spies in with the generals anyway. Authority, unrest, minus 20. That could be useful. I'm going to go with the evading traits. I think that's a good one to have for now. Ready for Let's get the navy attack in. Get the Those ships are going to be excellent in this battle. I could probably do it with just these ships. Do they have a navy of their own? Yeah, they have four garrison assault raiders. Let's maintain the blockade. And I'm going to just bring my army out. The only thing is, I'm probably going to cause some sort of rebellion or something if I leave but I'm gonna take this province anyway in its, in its place so it, the, it, it, it evens out um, let them cower like kennel let's dogs. just encircle them to the they're not gonna stand a chance yeah we're gonna have this problem next turn I can dismantle I don't have a much oh I can turn that into a port straight away or a homestead I need, I need the food don't I so we'll go for the homestead can I afford two I can afford one and I need another general, but I can't afford it right now. I can, have, I can have two more generals and another fleet. 
don't quite have the cash. Before we attack them and we have a battle, let's just quickly check that we are maximizing everything that we can do in in the Empire. So Bithynia, trading, Dribali, I can't do a Pergamon, otherwise we would. I probably would as well. Athens, we wouldn't we wouldn't mind strengthening our allegiance with you guys. I am here to listen. They are our client state honestly. after all. They don't want to trade, which I hate. But they've got if you look at this, this is why, because they already have olive oil marble and iron whereas I only have lead so it's not a profitable situation for them the Cateroi up in the north would be useful because they would be sharing a border with me if I take the Odrissian Kingdom settlement so a non aggression pact sounds nice they don't like it though bastards trade in either they wouldn't like oh god it's gonna be difficult isn't it that's the border by there. Sarmatia's up here then. Yeah, we'll... I think we... Cymeria. Cymeria? Cymeria? I don't know. Non-regression is low there, Mark. No point. No point. And that's it. Okay, so we will... Oh, wait a minute. Wait, one sec. I saw something then. Where's he gone? Oh, where'd he gone? Pontus, there they are. They've changed the colour. Oh, it used to be yellow. Oh, why did I change that? I, like, I preferred it when it was yellow. Um... Non aggression. Thank you. Yay, we got something. They wouldn't trade with me. Uh, so. No surprise there. But they might do next turn. Anyway, we've got a battle on our hands, guys. Let's get to it. What do we have? Lots and lots of missile troops. I'm not even at full strength. This is actually quite risky. And they're at full strength. Ah, we're good enough for this man. Can we do we need any mercenaries? We can't afford them anyway. Let's fight the battle. Right then guys, I shall see you all on the battlefield. Hello and welcome to the battlefield. We have a nice little mount by here. Oh wow, I see opportunity. There's an opportunity straight away, guys. Let's take it. Their ships are coming here. We're gonna butcher them. My ship's gonna come around here as well. Get up there quickly. They're gonna be disembarking here. Oh god, is that a glitch? No, it's not. Um, yeah. Opportunity to kill many men. What have they got? Thracian warriors. 80, 80, 80. We can butcher them, I think. They're not reinforcing, are they? They're all gonna camp in this circle, I think. Get those ships quickly. Come on. Hurry up, guys. That are meant to be killing here. Oh, they're gonna get screwed. Thracian warriors are gonna get butchered. Come on, attack them for fuck's sake. Hurry up. I hate the fact that you go wait till they get off the ship before you can actually issue an attack order. It bloody irritates me. Right, we've got some of them starting to fire. Excellent. Infantry's gonna get in front of them. Oh, come on, get some kills. Get some kills, my friends. Get some kills. And hoplite wall. Hoplite, hoplites, however you pronounce it, I don't really know. Doesn't matter. Go you guys forward. General is going to give the old war cry. Excellent, dude. Get forward. And you can flank around. And all missile troops are going to attack the centre where they're weak. Are they outflanking me? Let's quickly check our shoulder. No, so, okay, we're fine. Ships are slowly moving. My ships are going to be used to butcher the beach. Oh shit, they're disembarking there. I didn't even notice that. Oh my god, it! I thought they were disembarking then and, you know, sinking. Sinking sort of thing. They're not, though, it's okay. Um, right, stack in now. Dude, team up two on two. Meanwhile, everyone else will start to shoot at the station warriors that are there. Now they can start firing on them. Spearmen. Let's kill them all quickly and efficiently. Pop the same wall. Are we taking loads of them already? 62. 60. Going well. Outflank with the other two. And these guys 
doing a decent job down to wherever, uh, 40, 30, something. And it's going to push up with these. Don't do friendly firing too much, so let's bring them up to the gate. That's four ships of infantry dealt with, and I haven't taken many losses in this battle so far. Let's have a quick check just to see. Um, I'll start with 35, did I? Kill 52. I don't, it doesn't really say, does it? Because I didn't have 160 to start with, but we haven't lost many. That's the point I'm trying to make. My ships will be here shortly. Once they're here, they're just going to bombard. Um, I probably should go for the general, probably. Best off killing the general, maybe the skirmishers. I'm going to take a couple of shots myself anyway. It makes sense. I'm just going to position myself at the gates. Like, so I'm going to walk. No point running them. My men, I think I've killed them all. The more we kill, the more the morale goes down. And they've killed, they're celebrating. Look at that. Proud Macedonians. Macedonian. Is it Macedonia or Macedonia? I think there's two ways to pronounce it. I'm just going to march my men slowly up now. No point rushing them up. i got to get my ships into position anyway. Wait, we have my artillery. I can also use my uh, Royal Peltas. <laughs> i got Royal Peltas. They Look at the health. Over a thousand health. Oh, mind you, the ships are all over a thousand. And they all pretty much get experience, so it's good. It's a good life we live. Right. Just gonna get these ships to turn. I'm gonna start firing now, I think. Let's get some shots away on these guys. But they. We. Oh, that's a good shot. They got the general. Oh, yes. It was a beautiful, beautiful shot indeed. Come on, give me the camera. Oh, where are you going? Guys, where are you going? Wrong way. Oh, my God, they, sh they stopped. Artillery ships reporting. I'm trying to think. What's the best target? Station warriors or the general? I'd go for the. And I tell this guy to shoot for the general automatically in that case. And then I can just manually fire with this one and just weaken them. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, my God, what am I doing? I can weaken them off the shores like this. It's kind of camping, I guess. Ooh, right in the face. It is kind of camping. You kind of, I guess you call it ocean camping, but. You know, if you've got your resources, you just do it. It's it's, it's common sense. I can significantly weaken them by using up all my my ammunition before I go in for a charge. I could just go in and charge them now, but I got a depleted army. I've only got four infantrymen anyway in this battle. It'd be a shame to waste them, especially if I've got another battle after this. You know, they, they do need to replenish. It's kind of important, so. I'm just going to do this because it makes sense. Let's just let them carry on manually. Let's bring this ship forward anyway. Um, where's the general by? Down to 73. My Royal Peltas. What's the range of my Peltas? Not quite far enough, are they? Let's get them to about, say, there. And hit them from there. My um, army's still getting to position, look, so we just let them carry on wandering there for now. They do have a couple of units up here. They have some skirmishers up here. I don't think it's too much to be worried about. And their general's up to 64. Just use up as much of this ammunition as we can. Just kill as many as we can. Meow. Oh, please don't miss. Oh, we got one. <laughs> Let's go for a big shot at the far end. Oh, my aim is getting worse. Let them do it automatically. <laughs> Station cavalry. Let's go for the cavalry. Attack you sons of Ares. Get the ship moving forward as well. Just bring my ship forward. Let's get near to the shore. And get some decent shots away if I get near to the shore. Let's bring them all forward. I can then I can then disembark three ships along the coast as here, as here as well, so they can be used as some inf as infantrymen if I need to. Probably not the best because they don't have very good melee attack, but they can be used to take a charge while I get my men into position. Of course, if any of these units come down here, now they get flung at by my slingers and my javelin men. Assault ships ready for orders. These assault assault uh, can I say it? assault ships. Are they attacking? 
if you want. Throw your spears. That's what I want. Position and throw. Excellent. Got a little skirmish of battle here. Oh god, we're losing quite badly. Can I get a shot in from here? I don't want to because my ship's right by there. Try there instead. Oh, it's terrible. What am I doing? Got better range with the ship, I think. Not quite. Out there. Oh, that's not bad. Got a few of them. Excellent. Oh, my ships are not firing now for some reason. A Royal Peltast. Oh, good. We got a few shots away. 104. Right, I think it's time to move my men now. Just check the health of them. Green, 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 green. Yep, they're all pretty green. Let's put them into a tight formation. Get the rest into a position as well. I could probably flank around if I wanted to and go through this way, but through the gate, get the beachhead, it makes sense. I don't want them to be in a position where they can hurt me too much. Let's try and take out some more of the cavalry. And seven. 145 Thracian warriors, that could prove to be a slight problem. This is where we want to hit. Look at this big bunch by here, I gotta hit that. My god, right, let's get this shot in. There, try it there. Oh, please. Oh, it's not bad. Oh, that was good. That was very gratifying. I took quite a few of them out then. Big, massive bulge. Half ammunition left for all of them. The general's who I want to take out, really. Ooh, took a few of them out. This ship is taking a lot of aggro. I think we got some more of the cavalrymen. Gonna get them both to fire for this general. 62. Oh, you moved. Come on. Try and get a clean shot on him, please. 62. 56. Excellent. 55. 54. Once he's gone, they lose a lot of morale. They're just changing their formation to be in a big cluster. And my assault ships are out of ammunition. They're not taking any aggro from the missile troops there, though, so we know we don't have to hit them quite yet. Let's go and hit the cluster by here. Massive cluster to hit. Must be hitting that cluster there. There. Make sure I'm getting kills. I'm trying to waste too many of my shots. Let the, uh, let the other ship take on the general while I manually try and take on the big clusters of troops to weaken them as much as I can. Boom. About there. Not too bad. Got a few. Try and take as many of the missile troops as possible. You know, it's not bad. Yeah, it's got a few more. Another two, I think. Overhit this one slightly, I think. Yeah. Got a horse. Keep moving. Moving targets are difficult. That's not bad. Got a few more. Excellent. Not much ammunition left. General's down to 44. That's pleasing. They have lots of skirmishers. 145, 116, 134, 128. Cavalry is 68. That's going to cause problems, I think, that cavalry. Ooh. Got a horse, I think. Or two horses. Not bad. Yeah, it's got some more cavalry. I'm taking out the missiles because they're probably going to cause me the most problems in this battle now, I think, once we attack them. If I can, try and take as many out as I can before I start. I'll have missile superiority and I can just rain death upon the men, basically. Boom! Oh, 
not a big cluster. Oh, you're out of ammunition, that's not fair. No, no, no. Damn it. Oh, I hate it, they keep moving every time I fire. <laughs> oh, God. That's better. Gonna have the best navy in the game by the end of this campaign. One thing I want to do is get a good navy. Just invade Britain and with Macedon. Completely obliterate them. Oh, my ship's taking a lot of damage there. I'm gonna have to monitor that, I think. Right, it's time now. It's time for the big assault. Let's get my shield bearers to about there. Let's march them, of course. Don't want to fly in there with anyone just yet. Try and get them all in. I'll try to land somewhere along this coast coast with the, the Royal Peltas because they actually do have decent stats, good melee defense, decent melee attack. So that I know they can go in one to one and do fairly well. While my ship continues. Oh, and 129. They are losing some men, but not. Still got 80% left. That's not really a worry at the moment. 75. They're losing, plus they're lo using a lot of the ammunition on this ship, which isn't taking hardly any damage. I'd rather them do that than use it up on my actual men. My slingers can actually start hitting the Thracian warriors from where they are right now as well. As a matter of fact, one of them has started. Let's have a look. Here they come. Not taking any losses yet, though. That might change shortly. They had one's gone down, and I've actually lost a ship. What the hell? Oh, you kidding? What? What the hell? My royal pelt ass. No. Shit. Ah, oh, that cocks that up. I didn't think that they could sink the Royal Peltast with javelin men that they didn't have any ammunition did they? Any catapults? Shit. Right then. Let's get this shit on going. Let's change that group formation. Let's go for the warriors that are behind. Javelins can go for the station warriors. They're just gonna hold this defensive formation here. I've still got two ships to be used. They're all facing me this way. They have lots of skirmishers. Don't have much infantry that left and some cavalry. Yeah, we got a decent chance with, with this, I think. They are steady. 24 left. Steadily taking losses, I think. March forward with my men in formation. The Thracian warriors are wavering. They don't stand a chance. Bye bye. Nice knowing you. Now we move everything forward. Shavli men stay right behind. Let's keep this defense going. It's the way to play with these Hellenic factions. There's no point rushing in. Stay as defensive as possible. Outrange them and weaken them. Take aim! March forward a little bit, please. Bring the javelins forward. I'm gonna fast forward this slightly as well. As they march. See as they're taking losses. And they're gonna commit, are they? They might commit, they might not. They're committing more uh, infantry, which is what I want. Because the rest will just fall easily. It's just these three units really I gotta deal with. And they're bringing everything forward. Excellent. What we want, guys. What we want. General. Stay formation. Stretch this missile to out so we don't flank so easily. War cry. Missiles. Aim for the Thracian cavalry. Now we embark. 
cause a distraction. General. They won't survive this battle. Oops, won't survive long anyway. Because they've been weakened tremendously. General. My fear is my losing my general actually because he only has 25 remaining. And if I pull my general back, I don't want to lose him. Let's form a new group for these three. They're going to charge the cavalry in. <laughs> Cavalry won't stand a chance against these, surely. Everyone aim for the general. That cavalry is going to be gone soon. Men are off the ships. Attack the missile. Missile troops are useless anyway, so they should be should be easily dealing with these. I, I would hope. I would really hope this. Two of them against them. Javelin men, break through and charge. Bring my general out. Their general is down to eight. Whoops, missiles are doing a tremendous job for me, as always. <laughs> and they run in now. This is where we're going to win the battle, I think. Actually, using my onagers as a force to think. You know what I mean? Um, take the beachhead. How do you use crap units in this game, I think? Pull back. Let's not run. Let's use the slingers to take my, my, my take my uh, main front line by here. These javelin men are doing very well for me, and they're routing. Look at this. Morale is gone in this army. Let's just charge everything. Oh, we won. I think we've won this. There we go. We've won. Victory. You're gonna end the battle, Vic. I don't lose my general. <laughs> it's a close victory. They deployed more than me. I was depleted before the battle. They weren't. That was important though because. I need to take another province, grow my empire. I only have one more to go until I get all of uh, Thracia now. Lost 408, but they lost it. About three times, nearly three times as much as me. An honorable death. Oh, he did die, that's not fair. Oh, God, I keep losing generals. It didn't say that he died in the... in the battle, so I'm... Um, I'm fed up of losing chance. He actually increased. What? Whoa, wait a minute. He increased in rank? I thought he's dead. Uh, what the hell? Oh, I know this general died because the whole thing went down. Where are Peltas again, please? Is that who. Oh, who's the event log? I need to check this. Uh, let's see. Uh, where's he gone? Honorable death. Demetrius Kalos is dead, okay. So who's this guy? Cosmas, all ah, right. Kalos, Cosmas. I got confused. It's my fault. Anyway, we can level up some stuff here. So, Gods of War, weapon damage fit by all spear armed. That's a good one to go for. Seeing as we got a lot of uh, hoplites. I'm a healer. What plus one authority? I can have armor for all units. Do I want authority? Or I think the armor would help. We go for shield bearer. And we can have. Authority plus Gravitas, Cadian plus Gravitas, Zeal when General plus Charge bonus, which is good. Plus 10% Ramming bonus. I'm going to go for the Soldier. I like to have the Charge bonus go up even higher. Plus 10 Charge bonus. Plus the 3 char Charge bonus. 13 plus Charge bonus now. It means that I got a good chance of ramming and doing damage. Let's get the ship in there. Look at this. I'm going to have a Rebellion next turn. Minus 28 already. I need to sort out so many uh, settlements, it's unbelievable. I got my general here in Pulpadeva, he's got the best army at the moment with all these units, companion cavalry and whatnot. I'm happy though with this, I've taken Odessos and the campaign moves on. I've been Dragonheart, hope you've enjoyed episode 2, until next time, goodbye.